I think I'm very close to that hidden treasure underground. So let's take a walk around and we will see. Oh! Here? Maybe here? Alright. Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Sadamoto Bears. This is Walheim, Viking survival game. And this is my poor cottage or maybe a house slash hotel. So what I was thinking today about I need to improve or upgrade my potion production and I need to build some fermenter. So fermenter looks like this one over here. So let's take a look. What do we need for it? So we need... What do we need? So we need 30 fine wood, 5 bronze. So let's take maybe 60 fine wood. I should have the wood ready. So that's 50 and let's take 10 more or should I take 90 maybe so that's 80 and this is 90 wood all right so let's build three fermenters so I have the wood so I need 15 bronze ingots so this is like the half of what I have and I need some resin and I should have the resin here so three that's 30 resin. All right, I have it. What? You right? You are carrying too much? What? That's not possible. Oh, yes, it is possible. <laughs> okay. So maybe I can make it uh, to the next floor. Maybe. So let's see if I can do it. So the stairs are not going to break with me, right? So here we are. I do have two fermenters here, but I would like to build more, so let's do it. So just like this, so this is one, another one, and one more, so yeah. Like uh, last time when when I didn't have these uh, walls around my farm, I came back from hunting trip and all these turnips and carrots they were gone, so I don't know if uh, the pigs ate them or if the mobs did attack my farm and destroy everything. So I just built some stone walls around my farm to protect my crops. So this will give me 30 turnips, which is enough for making, I think, 10 turnip stew. So let's take a look. Is this turnip stew? Yes, it is. So. Let's cook some turnip, turnip stew. The, the most expensive material to make the turnip stew is just the turnips. So that's why I build my farm and we need some meat. So I am going to cook 10 turnip stew. So we can see we need raw meat, one piece and three turnips for making turnip stew. So my farm if it is fully grown, it will give me the materials to make 10 turnip stews. I carry always one stack of turnip stew with me and some sausages and carrot soup. So let's cook something else. For example, frost resistant potion maybe. So we need honey, thistle, blood bags. All right, so let's get 50 honey, then some blood banks, and I think I do have the thistles somewhere here. I never, I can never find them, but I'm sure there are some, yeah, here. So we have the thistles, and we need something else. Now I can't remember what it was. So, oh, the eyes, all right. So let's, okay, so I have only two. But I have a stack here. So let's uh, make this uh, frost resistance potion. So I will make probably six of them because I do have six fermenters. So that's four, five, and okay. So I need 10, me 10 honey. I have plenty of honey because I do have uh, a lot of bees outside of my house. So let's make it this way so one more so we have six 
meat base frost resistance so let's return all the materials so thistles go here ice as well and brood bags so i need to place these uh, meat base into the fermenter and it takes some time to ferment i can't remember how long does it take but it, it's a it's it's a while like i'm not saying it's uh, done in five minutes but you will get there so one two three four five everything is fermenting so i don't need to care about it anymore but I can show you how it looks like. I do have one chest to be the, the the potions somewhere here. Yep, this is the frost resistance meat and this is the poison resistance meat. So I'm trying to make as much as possible because when we are going to kill next boss we will need uh, poison resistance I think. So let's do something else i want you to build the the largest boat in the in the game i have the nails so i need 10 deer hides i have always plenty of deer hides because i'm killing all the deers all the time so what's next 40 fine wood and 40 ancient bark that's piece of cake so let's take 40 fine wood just like this and 40 ancient barks you can get this ancient bark in swamps when you cut the ancient trees so that's how you get the, the bark so it's easy to get that resource but swamp is just a little bit dangerous you know guys so let's try to build the boat so this is the boat maybe just like this maybe let's let's take a look and boom and this is the boat you want to get if you want to travel around the world very fast and if you travel or if you sail with your friends sometimes you can meet a sea serpent which will destroy your raft or the medium boat very easy but if you do have crew on this uh, large fast ship you can attack the sea serpent with a harpoon and sea serpent can't run away anymore so if you kill the sea serpent you will get this resource i need to find it and from that resource i think it's some kind of a serpent meat or something like that you can cook this serpent stew you you need to bake that serpent meat first on a this grill or in this cooking station and then you can cook it in a cauldron and you can make this lovely serpent stew so that's how you do it and i do i do have only one serpent stew because uh, jeffrey gave me this serpent meat so i'm saving it for later i did make some kind of a contraption here i will show you guys because I think it's funny, it's some kind of a, like a <laughs> Minecraft automa semi-automation. So let's make some uh, charcoal or coal, I would say. So I will take some coal and I will take some iron scrap. So let's insert the iron scrap into the smelter. The coal goes from this side and when it's smelted, then it falls down through that opening in my forge room that's like a some kind of a storage so if i go inside you see plenty of coal which goes down this chute just like that so i will maybe i will wait for a coal to fall through the chute so then you will see how funny it is so just like that and the ingots are falling through this opening so i will stand here because i don't want to have a some kind of a open skull <laughs> if it falls on me and of course i'm storing my ingots and this extra coal here but i will take the coal into my house 
because next batch I'm going to make uh, some kind of a different potion which is using the coal so let's take a look I think what is it so this is the frost resistance potion that's what I did like a few minutes ago and there is a potion resistance where you need 10 coal per one mead base so I will leave this coal here and yeah that's it so everything is full in my house like all the chests are almost full so I will leave or maybe I can put that coal inside the smelter so we are still smelting some iron so I will take a little bit more coal from this chest and I will fill this smelter because I'm going to sleep through the night and there is going to be a lot of ingots in the morning so I will jump to the bed and we start from there I don't know if I mention mentioned or not this is some kind of a protection for your base I am playing on a server so it is always good to have so I will show you guys how it works it is easy and cheap to build and I'm going to install one just behind my house because I don't I want to keep that sticky fingers from other guys away so let's build the ward all right so this is the ward you will place it somewhere just like this and now your stuff is protected so I will activate it and everything is perfect now if you want to give your friends in multiplayer permission you will deactivate this word they need to click this word with E like uh, they will get the permission then you will activate it and everything is fine because if it is activated and they don't have the permission they can't open your doors they can't open your chest so basically they can I wouldn't say steal but they can't uh, touch your stuff I would say if you want to use the boat just press E the rudder we can see the wind is behind us so if I will press W once I am basically like paddling with this rudder so the boat is moving slowly so now I can steer it so we can sail even against the wind if you want or if you need so if I will press uh, D I will stop and when I will press D again then we are sailing backwards like it's some kind of a reverse so let's go forward so this is one sail one more W and we are sailing full speed forward and this looks just awesome guys I love it so I am approaching my non-existent pier oh shoot no 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 the, the other way the other way please <laughs> oh shoot I'm always forgetting how to steer the, the ship so we are getting very close maybe I could slow down a little bit so I will hit D so we are slowing down and now we are sailing like this is some kind of a drifting so I will steer the ship this way I will press D and this is like a reverse gear alright so I would like to park my ship somewhere here maybe just like this so W this W and oh shoot shoot shoot, shoot no I need to <laughs> lower the sails yeah and that's how you do or that's how you don't do it because you will hit something with the, with the ship so I'm going to do a little bit of reverse just like that I will stop the ship and I will press E and I will leave the ship here so the, the ship is basically marked or anchored even without the anchor so yeah this is the ship and maybe I should make some kind of a thumbnail for the video here or while I'm here maybe I don't know
All right, guys. I'm back in the mountains. In different spot. I met some kind of a golem. I killed it and I do have some crystals out of it. It was a long fight, but there were two drakes very close to me and they did help me. Like, not intentionally, but they did help me to kill the golem. Yo, wolf, what's up? <laughs> oh, the wolf was sleeping. <laughs> oh, this is the dragon egg. Nice, but I'm not going to touch it. I will just mark this position on the map. So let's call it Dragon Egg, right? And I know I need three Dragon Eggs, I think, for summoning the last boss, but we are not so far in the game yet. So I'm just lurking around because my wishbone, this guy over here, is doing this crazy sound. I think I'm very close to that hidden treasure underground. So let's take a walk around and we will see. Oh. Here, maybe here, all right. I will try to mine. What is it? Stone, all right. So hopefully I can find the silver, maybe. Alright, so the wishbone is getting crazy. And if I will get very lucky, I will find the silver finally, guys. Come on, please. I would like to find silver. So I will try to mine everything around me. Because I don't know where it is. But it should be somewhere underground. Come on, let's do it. I have the potion, resi frost resistant potion, only for five minutes. So I hope I can find it. Oh, silver vein. Yes, that's it, guys. That's it. I found silver. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Please. Stupid Drake. Leave me alone. All right, Drake, here we go. Maybe one more. Come on, Drake, don't be a coward. Oh, shoot, there is a wolf as well, okay. Come on, Drake, catch. I have plenty of arrows, right? So I still have 48. Okay, so the, the, the Drake always stops before the attack. So let's go back to the silver vein. Is it silver? I hope it is. So let's see. I don't, do I have any silver in my inventory? Not yet. So I didn't... Oh yeah, I have it. I have it, guys. I have silver, finally. So this is going to be some kind of a silver vein around me. So I will return here with more potions. And I will mine everything. So one... Two, okay. Oh shoot, I'm overloaded. I'm carrying too much. That's a piece of cake. I can unequip this wishbone. The mountain is almost behind me. I'm still alive and I do have four silver ores in my inventory. I'm so happy. But now I need to cross the plains. It should be alright-ish, I guess. Like, I don't like that mosquitoes, because they are extremely dangerous. Oh, pigs, alright. Catch this one and this one, okay. <laughs> and... Let's have all my fingers crossed. Guys, I do have silver ingot. Oh, can I... Oh, shoot. <laughs> No room in my inventory. This is unfair. I'm going to drop some stones. And 
Yeah, nice. So I have new recipes. So what can I do? Oh, silver sword. Why would I need a silver sword? I do have an iron sword. I'm finally at home with a lot of silver. But silver is very heavy. So I can take probably 25. Maybe just a little bit more. So let's smelt it. I started smelting the silver already. I built another smelter. So I will show you my small contraption so this is the first smelter so let's place some silver in it and this is the second s s smelter <laughs> sorry guys so maybe i need to go for more silver from the boat and i should harvest i would say the potions which are fermented already so one two three so I have the potions, so I have 30 new potions and maybe there is 10 more downstairs, maybe I will check the fermenter, so let's take a look, yep, and what, only 6, how is that possible, only 6, so I will store the potions in this chest and yeah, I am finally making some silver guys so I was thinking the last piece of gear which I'm going to craft in this episode it is going to be the silver shield if I do have the resources for it maybe I do so let's go outside and let's check it out because I have no idea how the silver shield looks like so let's take a look Alright, so silver shield, 8 silver ingots and 10 fine wood, nice. Can I upgrade it? What do I need? Oh, 10 fine wood. I'm absolutely sure that I do have some fine wood here, perfect, yes I do. So I will take just a little bit more and I will try to upgrade it as much as I can. So another upgrade maybe one more do i can i afford it oh eight silver and i have only one so i think that's fine i would say so let's put it there and i'm going to equip it oh yes it looks really really good guys so i'm going to wrap it up silver goes here oh shoot i have 10 silvers silver ingot so i will do one more upgrade oh shoot 20 fine wood i'm sorry for this so let's get the fine wood i will upgrade it one more time so let's do it is this the max level yes it is perfect so i have the shield upgraded everything is fine i will return all these resources to this boxes or chests oh come on just like that so guys thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one this is the way